Okay, so we just have to do a reflection, and uh, the difference is that it's not on axis. It's a reflection across y equals 1, so we need to find that. Uh, y equals 1 would be a horizontal line that crosses at 1 on the y-axis. So there's your line of reflection, and now we do the same thing that we did before. Um, basically, we see that q is 1 below it, so we need to go 1 above it, and there's your q prime. Okay. And when I say it, I'm talking about the line of reflection. Move on to your other three points, or however other points that you have there. Um, let's take a look here. T is 2 below, so we need to go 2 above. T prime goes right there. Let's do the R. R is actually above it by 3. See that right there? So now we just have to go 3 below it and call that R prime. And let's take a look at the S. S is 1 above. So S prime will be one below. And then we just have to connect the dots here, okay? Um, Q prime goes to T prime because Q went to T on the original. So Q prime goes to T prime. T prime is going to go to S prime because T went to S. So T prime goes to S prime. You get the idea. What about our reflection across x equals negative 2? Well, x equals negative 2 is a vertical line that crosses at negative 2 on the x-axis. So there's your line of reflection. Um, C is right there on it, so we'll call that one C prime. A is 1 to the left of it, so we go 1 to the right to call that A prime. And over here, the B is 2 to the right, so we go 2 to the left to make that B prime. And you just match up the dots again. There you go.